Bismillahirrahmanirrahim uh, Hari ni kita nak sambung chapter 4 ataupun topik 4 Which is ethical leadership and corporate culture Okay, so dalam topik ni kita akan belajar Macam mana uh, Macam mana seorang um, uh, Macam mana uh, seorang leader tu dia boleh influence dia punya staff Okay, so in this topic we are going to learn whether a leader has the capacity to influence his staff or not when it comes to uh, practicing at the practicing ethical behavior. Okay, so um, okay, those uh these are the learning outcomes. Okay, contohnya apa dia? Uh, explain the concept of role of ethics. Okay, explain the traits of an ethical leader. Explain the meaning and importance of setting the right tone from the top in the context of the ethical leader. Okay, so these are also the learning outcomes. Alright, okay. So there will be two parts discussed in this chapter. Okay, first adalah ethical leadership to sendiri and then the role of leadership to inculcate an ethical corporate uh, culture. Okay, apa peranan kepimpinan tu untuk menerapkan nilai-nilai murni dalam uh, budaya corporate. Okay, so we will we will also be looking at the meaning of role in ethics and the and the three roles of business managers. Then the definition of ethical leadership, examine the pillars of ethical leadership and the traits of ethical leaders. Okay, and the last one is the ethics program helps leaders to set the right tone from the top and instill ethical corporate culture. All right. Um. So, role as an ethical concept. A role is a structured set of relationships with a company, right, as obligation that are sometimes added to those of ordinary morality over and above those of everyday life. So, dekat sini nak cakap um, uh, a role, uh, a role, uh, kata apa, peranan ni, okay, a role is a structured set of relationship. It is a relationship uh, that has its own characteristics that it also company rights and obligations Okay, and then it is added into the ordinary morality of and above those of everyday life. Okay, roles are created in order to serve society better as a whole, since everyone is contributing or taking some responsibility to accomplish something for the well-being of the society. So, tanggungjawab ni ataupun peranan ni diciptakan dia kerja dia senang je dia untuk bukanlah senang. Maksudnya tanggungjawab ni dia ada sebab apa kita tahu. Um, kalau macam uh, if we go to kalau kita dengar macam seorang mak boleh jaga 10 anak tapi 10 anak tak semestinya boleh jaga uh, uh, seorang mak okay uh, that is the good uh, analogy ataupun good um, good example to show that why do we need a leader that has a good role in um, in our everyday life okay dalam even dalam a family structure pun in, in, in a family institution pun um, the head of the family is usually the father the 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 patriarchal the patriarchal role of a father okay and then kita punya mother okay the maternal role tu macam mana pula okay so those roles are directly related to social responsibility um, business people have a role to play for a nation's economic growth prosperity and well-being so um, dekat sini nak cakap uh, Kalau dalam bisnes ni Tanggungjawab dia adalah Bukan setakat untuk membangunkan uh, Orang kata apa ekonomi Tapi juga memakmurkan uh, Orang kata apa memak- Memakmurkan uh, Orang kata apa uh, Secara sejagat dan juga untuk uh, Kebaikan di masa hadapan lah Alright So um, The roles of business managers Okay when it comes to ethical concept, okay, um, managers will have their own uh, uh, special roles, okay. So, who uh, when it comes to managers as economic actors, they must make some economic decisions ensuring profitability for the company's growth, okay. So, kat sini, memang itu orang kata pertanggungjawab hakiki. Dalam business, uh, a manager, whatever manager ke, financial manager, marketing manager ke apa ke, they all have the same responsibility in which to make a sound economic decisions, okay. From that economic decision, it can ensure profitability whether in the short run or in the long run and to ensure the company's growth, okay. What is the purpose of having uh, um, kata apa, an organization a for profit organization if the if the organization is not uh, striving for um kata apa is not striving for um higher profitability okay so and then the second one is managers as company leaders uh, or trustees 
so they must manage assets prudently, fulfill the needs of stakeholders, and balance any conflicting interests being trustees. Okay, so di kat sini dia nak cakap, um, uh, a manager has the um, responsibility that it has to lead. They have to lead the company. Okay, uh, such as to manage asset prudently. They cannot, they cannot easily go away. Okay, once you are elected as a once once uh, you are elected as a uh, what we call um the manager. Okay, you 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 can get away with anything. Point. Okay, you have a bigger responsi responsibility. Okay, in which you have to take care of not only your stakeholder stockholders but also for the stakeholders. Okay, and then balancing any conflicting interests and being trustees. So the third point. Okay, the roles the third roles of business manager is managers as community leaders. As community leaders, they must ex exercise power given upon them. That demonstrate their corporate leadership or citizenship. So, bila kita dah jadi uh, pengurus ni, bila kita dah jadi leader atau pemimpin, kita ni digalakkan. We are highly encouraged. Bukan we are highly encouraged. We are compelled to show to our subordinates ataupun our followers that we have that we have a good command of everything. Okay, that. That they they respect us to 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 listen whatever we want uh we want them to listen okay contohnya macam kita bukanlah not not I'm not saying that you you can be bossy all around and whatever tapi but then you have to be um kata apa you have to have a necessary uh outcome ataupun necessary actions taken when it comes to necessary uh, uh problem ataupun issues so kat sini it shows the managers as community leaders okay. Alright. Alright. Um, ethical leadership is the ability or power to instill ethically acceptable behavior through personal actions and motivate follower to emulate such behavior through two-way communication, reinforcement, and ethical decision making. Um, in fact, an organ organization is only ethical if its leaders are ethical, and most importantly, if the leaders are able to motivate their followers to behave. Ethically, so um, so dalam nah di kat sini point number three nak explain, okay? Satu company tu, any kind of organization, it is ethical if the leaders are ethical. If the leaders are not ethical, then the company is tumbling down. Okay, it is not it is not a, a good company to begin with lah. And most importantly, if the leaders are able to motivate their followers to behave ethically. Obviously, obviously, a leader is expected to show good, um, good command of control and good ethical behavior, so that it can encourages, uh, it can encourage the 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 followers to behave the way that manage the their manager do, okay, the their manager does. Our employees learn through observations. Leaders can influence the behavior of their followers through role modeling and establishing ethical behavior practices. Of course. Uh, employees will see, okay, will, will look up to our roles as manager. Kita dah cari manager nanti, we are not only manage the, kata apa, kita tak semestinya, kita bukan sahaja menguruskan kerja-kerja haki kita, uh, haki kita, tapi we we are being the one that our employee look up to. If we do this, then our employee will feel like, oh, this one we should emulate uh, what uh, what our boss just did, uh, did just now. So, Kalau benda tu tak betul, maka the outcome will not be right lah. Okay, that's why we cannot simply, if we are the boss, okay, we can simply go out any album. We can simply go out anytime we want ke, uh, without without thinking of other things. Okay, we are supposed to stay in our office, but then, uh, orang kata apa, uh, after the lunch hour punya period pun, still ada kat luar tak masuk office lagi. That is not a good thing uh, for a manager do. Okay, for a manager to do lah. Alright. So two pillars of ethical leadership. These two pillars basically reinforce the idea that ethical leadership requires someone that does not only have a core set of ethical values and acts on them, but also establishes various platform and a work environment that promotes such values among his followers. So pillars ni kalau kita kata dalam bahasa Melayu tiang lah, okay? Um. Mm, Tiang kata apa uh, pillars of ethical leadership ni um, uh, kata apa uh, in order for someone to become ethical, okay, they have this 
uh, two pillars of ethical leadership. Okay, the first one is the moral person pillar represents the leader's personal traits, character, and altruistic motivation. And then the moral manager pillar represents the proactive efforts of the manager to influence the way his employees behave. Okay. Alright. So, kalau kita kat sini, uh, there are two pillars. Okay. First, the moral person pillar. The second one is the moral manager pillar. Okay. Uh, kalau moral manager, it represents the proactive efforts of the manager to influence the way his employees behave. So, dekat sini, bila kita jadi manager, kita kita tak payahlah, oh, okay. Kita nak kita punya staff instill a good behavior apa semua, tapi kita tak reinforce benda tu, okay. Maksudnya, kita tak ada tindakan, okay. Kalau kau nak buat perangai, kau buat perangai. Tak boleh, okay. Kita tak boleh expect, kita kena tunjuk juga yang kita menggalakkan dia untuk buat benda baik. Okay, and then yang the first one, the moral person pillar yang atas ni Represents the leader's personal traits, character and altruistic motivation lah So dekat sini, dekat dalam, uh, kalau di, the, the moral person pillar ni dekat dalam manager tu sendiri Okay, the leader's personal traits, dia punya ciri-ciri dia, character dia Dia punya personality dia, alright So, uh, these two pillars are important because individuals learn appropriate behavior through a role modeling process Okay And you nak cakap, kita tengok orang lain tu kan. Kalau macam orang kata apa, oh, kalau kita, uh, kita ada benda kita kena ikut. Maksudnya macam, uh, uswah hasanah. Rasanya uswah hasanah kot. Contoh yang baik, okay. Nabi ni adalah contoh, Nabi Muhammad SAW adalah contoh yang terbaik dalam kehidupan kita. Okay, sebab apa Nabi Muhammad adalah hamba kepada Allah. Cuma Nabi Muhammad adalah lebih, orang kata apa, taraf lebih daripada umat-umatnya iaitu kekasih Allah SWT. Jadinya kita ni, kita sebagai umat Nabi Muhammad, we should look up for him. We should look up uh, how Nabi Muhammad uh, uh, behave. Okay, tengok aktiviti uh, seharian baginda. Um, kata apa, ada hadis, ada semua daripada uh, daripada Abu Hurairah apa semua. Itu ada semua daripada report okay? ataupun laporan daripada sahabat-sahabat Nabi yang menunjukkan uh, peribadi Nabi Muhammad yang sangat-sangat mulia. Okay, so... Berdasarkan dua berdasarkan dua tiang ni moral moral person and moral manager akan akan adalah ethical leadership. Okey kalau tak ada satu ni maksudnya takkan ada ethical leadership ataupun there will be unstable ethical leadership punya karakteristik. Okey so dua-dua ni kena ada moral person uh, moral person pillar dengan moral manager pillar. Alright. So um When it comes to moral person pillar, okay, dia ada yang kat bagian ni, okay, traits, behavior and decision making. Kalau moral manager, role modeling through visible action apa semua lah. Kalau macam traits, okay, kalau kita berbalik kepada uh, moral person ni, uh, wait, okay, kalau kita, okay, kalau kita tak kat moral person ni, okay, traits, integrity, honesty, trustworthiness, competence, respect, okay. So, um... Uh, contoh-contoh orang kata apa A good trait in our self as manager Integrity Integrity ni maksudnya kita punya uh, uh, Kita punya orang kata apa Our, our own commitment Okay how, how how are we committed to our own job Okay Honesty, kejujuran, trustworthiness Keboleh percayaan Competence and respect Okay Kalau kita tak tak competent Uh, if we are a manager Tapi we are incompetent To perform our job Macam mana kita punya Staff kita nak Nak expect yang kita ni Ada Ada orang kata apa Ethical behaviour So dekat sini um, We have to have comp- Proper competency uh, In order to become uh, An ethical leader Okay And then we also need to have um, The concept of respect Okay Respect me I will respect you Macam benda macam tu lah And then behaviour Do the right thing. Show concern for people. Be open. Personal morality. Okay. Perangai kita ni. Kita kena tunjuk. Janganlah. Of course lah kan. Kalau macam kita, kita pernah dengar. Okay. Age is just a number. It it does not show uh, maturity. Okay. Of course. Of course. There, there, there is nothing wrong with that statement. But then. Even if we are not mature point. Okay. We can control our behavior. We 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 can limit ourselves from being. Ah, um, kita apa being the 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 party pooper of of a situation. Boleh kita nak jadi um uh, tak matang bodoh-bodoh. Tapi we have to uh, see uh, the 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 situation 
that necessitates us to become whether to become immature or mature. Kalau kita masuk dalam meeting, a very serious meeting, we are expected to be mature. Okay, we have to, we are expected to serious and pay attention to the meeting. Jangan kita buat benda lock bodoh. That is not the right thing to do lah. Okay, and then uh, decision making, hold on to values, be objective, fair, show concern for society, follow ethical decision rules. Okay, hold on to the values. Tengok kita punya nilai kita ataupun misi dengan visi dalam satu company tu kalau kita nak buat decision how how do we find uh, kata apa how do we uh, arrive to the uh, decision making uh, method that can still hold on to the value of the company okay itu kena tengok okay kita tak boleh macam membabi buta je buat decision okay and then we need to be objective ataupun fair kita kena ada tak boleh berat sebelah show concern for society we need to show our responsibility to the society we are not being a manager yang orang kata apa uh, if you are, if you are a manager then all you have to do is just to think about the uh, company no tak boleh sebab macam dalam kita punya stakeholders mod, uh, stakeholder models of responsibility kita ada ya macam mana customer kita customer kita are not stakeholders but then they are buying our product so kalau tak ada kalau produk kita tak quality our customers will not be buying our product that's why we need to show concern for society Alright, and then follow ethical decision rules, okay? Kita kita nak 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 orang kata apa, to come up with the proper uh, apa proper decision pun we have to follow the standard operations procedure in the company, okay? Kalau anda kata, okay, you have to you uh, you nak buat decision ni, you have to meet the the uh, the orang ni sekian 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 lah. Jumpa lah orang tu. That's why we need to follow the standard uh, operation procedure, okay? Ethical decision rules. Okay, and then kalau kita, when it comes to moral manager, role modeling through visible action. Okay? We show our behavior. Contohnya, benda macam mudah je. Kalau kita rasa macam office kita tu tak teratur, kita tunjuk dekat kita punya staff yang kita punya sitting dalam uh, office kita tu kemas, bersih. Okay? We we show them, we show to our employees that we are the one to for them to follow because not only uh, they have to follow our orang kata apa our command tapi follow every last but apa saya kadang-kadang orang ni kalau kita dah idolize kita dia akan follow whatever the thing that we we do okay and then rewards and discipline so kalau uh, rewards uh, rewards ni uh, rewards and discipline ni in regard of if our employees are doing very well we reward uh, we will reward them with better compensation punya method kalau if we find out that our employees are not that good in performing their job we need to have, we need to take necessary uh, discipline action okay and then communicating about ethics and values okay we need to orang kata apa uh, the manager needs to communicate with the employees in regard of the ethics and values kita tak boleh diam saja this thing sebab dia kata dia kena proactive this thing we cannot okay kau baca je lah Um, kata apa contract dalam uh, apa syarat dan peraturan as an employee no you cannot do that you cannot simply expect them to read their own their own because uh, because they have many things to do so that's why we need to communicate we need to tell them what what we should do what we should not do okay all right So and then traits of ethical leaders. Okay, these are the orang kata apa salah orang kata apa beberapa traits lah ataupun traits ni orang kata apa uh, uh, PL PL lah PL of ethical leaders. Okay, traits are stable personal characteristics of an individual. Okay, an individual acts in a similar fashion at different times and situation, and others describe the individual to those attributes. Okay, so the only traits ni adalah Okay, let me highlight it first. Uh, Alright, traits. Traits are stable personal characteristic of any individual lah. Okay, an individual acts in similar fashion at different times and situation and others describe the individual to those attributes. Okay. Alright. So, apa ni? The, uh, what are the traits? Okay, the first one is integrity. They act with honor and their decisions will always coincide with the ethical vision and standards of the firm. So, um, kalau macam in case a manager, a manager should not be egoistic. Of course, of course, a little bit of ego is always good. Tapi we cannot simply just, even if our employees are doing the right thing, and we don't want to acknowledge them, tak boleh. Kita kena honor uh, uh, the right things, okay? 
And decisions will always coincide with their ethical vision Okay Maksudnya kat sini macam uh, Keputusan apa-apa keputusan kita buat ni Kita kena based on the ethical punya standards lah Okay and then honesty They are truthful and forthright with their decision Benar tak ada punya orang kata apa uh, Bila kita nak buat uh, when we are being ethical Dia tak ada double meaning Maksudnya we are being ethical for the sake of the company's performance itself And no other means at all Okay And then responsibility They fulfill all their assigned respons- responsibilities and their actions Would be transparent They are accountable for actions So kalau macam agak-agak Kalau manager tu Even even though um, uh, Dia tak ethical But then dia buat kerja dia kan Orang kata pun buat kerja dengan tak ethical Tapi banyak profit So lepas bila audit pula Bahawa tiba-tiba ada laporan yang menunjukkan Yang nampak lah yang This manager is not doing uh, An ethical job So the, the manager has to take responsibility Of his action lah Sebab he he is not uh, concerning with the He's not concerned at all With orang kata apa uh, Uh, his responsibility towards the stakeholders but then just the sole purpose is to satisfy the profitability of the company okay and then loyalty to avoid they avoid self interest deals uh self interest of stakeholders make objective decisions and protect proprietary information okay fairness adila make fair decisions kalau citizenship They act as good citizens for the communities in which the firm has operation. They avoid decisions that are harmful to the environment. Okay, uh, kalau kita nak buat whatever situation in whatever situation pun, we we cannot simply think of our own company. We have to think about others. That is what business ethics are. Okay, and in respect, they give considerations to the feelings. Wishes and rights of other Okay Jangan dilupakan hak orang lain Okay Contohnya tengok macam This coronavirus kan When people are going out of their home Okay Out of the radius of 10 kilometers Issues that are not being responsible So it, it they, they don't show their respect Towards the authority In which kadang-kadang Kalau frontliners kita tengok Penat bekerja Buat saringan apa semua Tapi kita keluar lagi We are being selfish To the to the frontliners We are not We are not respecting them Even though kita rasa macam Oh dia tak kenal kita siapa But then We are being dis- disrespectful Towards our frontliners Okay And then competence They have the skills Knowledge and ability To manage the organizations And stakeholders demands Towards attaining Organizational goals Okay so These are some of the traits of Ethical leaders Okay Alright Alright, critical uh, critical elements of a formal ethics program. So, okay, these are the critical elements. Uh, contohnya core value statement ke code of ethics. Yeah, core value statement. Uh, kita apa pernyataan? Uh, kita apa nilai yang asas tu? Okay, code of ethics semua ni. These are some of the critical elements. Okay. Alright. Uh, kalau ini dia punya. Oh, kita apa? Um, contoh code of ethics lah. Okay, contohnya apa? Uh, common provisions of a code of ethics Accepting or refusing uh, Give from business partners policy Okay, tak boleh Okay, and then um, uh, Conflict of interest Security of proprietary and com- uh, uh, Confidential information Okay, benda-benda ni lah Macam Contohnya macam Kalau uh, discriminatory human resource practices Contohnya Okay, sebab orang ni kulit hitam Kita hire dia Tapi kita bayar gaji lagi sikit Daripada orang yang kulit cerah That is not okay at all, at all. That is not ethical But when a company Is found to be Practicing this kind of thing The company will be Blasted with a lot of uh, Social justice warrior Okay, benda ni sangat-sangat penting Because we are trying to narrow down our Orang kata apa uh, Income disparity based on skin color Benda macam tak boleh We cannot discriminate We are all human Kita tak boleh nak buat sesuka hati kita Okay And then use of organizational assets and resources Okay, kadang-kadang Oh, kalau macam contohnya ada anak kan Ada anak sekolah Anak nak minta photo state kertas tu Tapi that is not Bila kita photo state kertas guna uh, Printer, electric company Tapi bukannya dia mendatangkan untuk kebaikan company Tapi dia juga untuk anak dia Which is personal use, okay uh, Code of ethics is no Whether it is ethical or not uh, Itu adalah Itu adalah orang kata apa Haa uh, That is your uh, decision Atau whether to To think that it is ethical or not Okay 
uh, apa lagi employee relation dekat yang box nombor dua ni kan advertising and promotional activities semua tu lah okay, kalau macam kalau advertising and promotional activities tengoklah kalau kita nak buka buat iklan pasal produk kita takkanlah kita nak buat yang orang kata apa ada sentiment-sentiment perkauman that is not right at all we need to be doing that everyone can accept this kind of advertisement okay those are the uh, uh, critical elements of a formal ethics program okay Right, so corporate culture and ethical corporate culture. Corporate culture is a shared belief, values, norms, custom, expectations, and meanings of the members of an organization that shape or influence their thinking and behavior. It is the way everyone does things in an organization. Lah, so kat sini adalah uh, corporate culture ni kalau dalam company tu. Macam kita lah kan, kita sebagai orang Malaysia ni, we have our own culture, we have our own identity. Contoh identiti Malaysia apa, uh, apa uh, makan pakai tangan, apa lagi uh, identiti Malaysia, masuk rumah tak pakai kasut. Okay, apa lagi, we have uh, we have uh, utmost respect to our parents. Okay, uh, we collectively as Malaysia, we have that common sense. Okay, macam lah corporate culture. Corporate culture ni pula, dia macam ni culture dalam negara, cumanya... Ikut company Contohlah kalau ada company tu kata apa Okay nak masuk bila-bila pukul berapa Boleh tak ada masalah Janji buat kerja That is corporate culture Okay ada pula corporate culture Ada pula company yang akan impose Okay uh, Cakap okay You have to come to work at uh, By 9am and balik Kena pukul 5 petang Okay But then within that time You can do whatever you want lah As long as your job is done Uh, that is another type of corporate culture. Okay, so that's why it is defined as the shared belief, values, norms, custom expectations and meanings of the members of an organization. Okay, uh, kalau dia tak kat Mirani, the way everyone does things in organization. Kalau dalam company tu, budaya dia orang kata apa, jenis datang lambat ke mesyuarat, the boss, uh, the boss itself is always late to meeting apa semua. That is the identity, that is the corporate culture. Okay. So, ethical corporate culture is an unspoken understanding among members of an organization of the legitimate and acceptable practices. It is the part of corporate culture that promotes the ethical values of an organization and guides employees to understand the importance of doing the right thing. Okay, so ethical corporate culture ni, macam benda ni kan, kalau kita belajar dalam perikat Islam pun, Benda ni logik akal If we think that that is not right That is not right Okay Jangan kita rasa oh Macam kita tengok benda tu memang kita rasa macam betul Tapi we think at the bigger picture Orang lain rasanya benda uh, orang, lain, orang, lain, orang, orang lain tu Rasa benda kita buat ni betul ke tak Kita kena fikir juga Kita jangan fikir kita, diri kita sendiri Okay uh, Doing the right thing Alright So, um, ethical leaders play a dominant role to cultivate ethical corporate culture in an organization. They have a great influence on the way the followers behave and perceive things in the organization. When leaders practice ethical leadership, the followers learn the appropriate behavior through observance and copying such behavior. Ethical leadership lets employees knows the boundaries of acceptable and acceptable behavior in the workplace and this will help uh, inculcate an ethical corporate culture in the organization. Okay, so um, kata apa, a good leader, okay, pemimpin yang uh, sangat bagus, okay, dia bukan sangat bagus tapi dia bagus in terms when it comes to ethical pun decision, uh, decisions lah. Kalau kita punya manager tu, kita ataupun kita sebagai manager, when we have the good ethical values, Whatever that we come up with decisions, everyone will be satisfied. Okay, kalau ada or ada party yang tak satisfied, okay, it shows that we are not being, orang kata apa, uh, ethical enough to show our concerns to what other other things to other other parties. We have to think of everything supaya uh, our decision is collectively agreed ataupun unanimously agreed. Okay, so when leaders practice ethical leadership, the followers learn the appropriate behavior through observance and copying such behavior. Okay, orang kata apa, um, kalau orang kata apa, uh, bapa kencing berdiri, anak kencing berlari, macam tu lah. Okay, benda tu macam selalu tak betul, tapi orang kata apa nak tunjuk lah. Uh, uh, bila kita ada role model ni kita akan look up ataupun uh, follow whatever our 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 roles uh, role model ni buat. Okay. Alright, that, that is all pasal ethical relationship, ethical corporate culture. Okay, rasanya itu sahaja. And then, saya akan bagi assignment as usual. Maybe later on, akan ada quiz dengan test. I will, I will tell you when lah. 
Alright, so that's all for uh, this week.